With high-powered companies like Amazon, Google, and Facebook, the U.S. has long held the top position in artificial intelligence. But the author of The Digital War, Winston Ma, says China and the U.S. are now neck and neck when it comes to the number of leading AI researchers and influential research papers on the topic. In China, uh, we're talking about one billion internet users. Every day they're leaving extraordinary amount of data on the internet platforms. So for the Chinese internet giants, as well as the new unicorns, you know, they have a huge amount of data to, to, to work on for their AI developments. The global tech competition is often mired in politics, but Ma believes U.S. sanctions against Chinese companies like Huawei have produced an unexpected result. And certainly, you know, Huawei took a hit and its smartphone market share has decreased dramatically. Now, the flip side of that story is that, you know, the, that market share did not go to uh, the U.S. brands, did not go to, the, go to the Apple's market share. Instead, the Chinese brands filled that void, you know, especially Xiaomi's. When you look at the top five smartphone brands globally, uh, three Chinese brands, including Xiaomi, uh, are there. Technological advances in ultra-fast quantum computing could someday help us better predict everything from the weather to financial markets. China recently claimed to have developed the world's fastest quantum computer. Well, China's got the fastest quantum computer, but it's for one use case. So the quantum side, the U.S. is ahead. You've got companies like Honeywell and IBM and Google and Microsoft running into this quantum space. And it's not just the fact that it's a performance issue. They've got the ecosystem of developers. They've got the ecosystem of folks that are building products and solutions on top that's much more powerful. Another powerful race shaping up is over electric vehicles. While the U.S. is out in front in some areas, it could be losing ground in others. The United States uh, are pretty much a leader when it comes to the renaissance of the EV, the electric vehicle, uh, namely because of one company, Tesla, you know, that started this uh, 10 years ago and has been uh, pretty successful at this. However, if you look at different regions in the world, in particular China and Western Europe, uh, you see those two regions really picking up speed and particularly also adoption rates of electric vehicles. And the United States is at a risk to kind of fall behind. EV market expansion also depends on how easy it is for drivers to charge up. Some auto experts say in that area, China is better positioned to succeed. Installing charging networks is expensive and it's not easy to find a centralized location. So while EV companies continue to innovate, government investment is also seen as being key in accelerating growth. Mark New, CGTN, Palo Alto, California.